So listen, it's the 100th episode yes. of To a Certain Degree. So you know the quiz is going to have to do with something near and dear to me. But it also has to do with something about today. So a historical event, an anniversary, something that happened on July 9th. Well, guess what? On this day in 1932, King C. Gillette passed away. Yes, Gillette as in razors. Okay. So the guy who basically came up with the stamping and the disposable and all that, uh, which is related to hair, which is very near and dear to me. You may know this from looking at me, but I'm Greek. And uh, spoiler alert for the few people who listen to the show that don't know me that well, I'm covered in hair. Okay. And I thought I'd ask someone who always has excellent hair to help. Nicole Dupre is an amazing and talented makeup artist and design artist. And you may also know her as the founder and executive director of Opera Del Sol. Yes. She's going to help us with a quiz. First question coming up right now. King C. Gillette, razors, hair, everything else. Take it away, Nicole. Hello, everybody. Gillette, whose first name was indeed King, started selling his razors and blades back in 1903. The razor set sold for $5 with a 20-pack of razors for a dollar. In 2018 money, how much would that set you back? A, around $50. B, around $150. But hang on. You know what? The pop quizzes have been about historical figures in the past, but this is episode 100. This should be about Nick. So let's stick with the hair theme, though. Here's the actual question. When Nick was born in Montreal, he earned a nickname from the nurses since he came out with plenty of whiskers. What was that nickname? A, Le Petit Noir. B, Old Man Nick. C, they didn't call him anything. They just ran away screaming. Okay, so this will be a little more embarrassing than I intended it to be. So what do you think they called me when I was born? What was the first one? Le Le Petit Noir. Le Petit Noir. Yeah, because it was a lot of black hair. (laughs) Old Man Nick or they just ran away. I will go with Le Petit Noir since uh, it was Montreal. It was Montreal. Okay, let's see if you're correct with that. He started out in life with the name Le Petit Noir since he was covered head to toe in black hair. Was a priest called because they thought he might be a werewolf? Uh, we'll never know for sure. There you go. You're one for one. Nice. Uh, so this will be, uh, we changed topics here, and so it'll be about me and uh, hair-related items. Perfect. So you're kind of a hairy guy. Yeah. Yeah, okay, so you can relate. I can definitely relate. Perfect. All right, Nicole? Nick and the half Sasquatches, or half Squatches, like him, can lean into all the hair they have and start some new fashion trends. Out of the following, which do you think he should try on for size? A, mutton chops, but on his shoulders. B, cornrows, back hair cornrows. C, ear beehives, also known as ear hives. So that's a tough one. I feel like I already have the mutton chops on mm-hmm. the shoulders. Yeah. So that's kind of actually where I was leaning towards. So. Yeah. Yeah, I thought okay, that one but, could oh, and they're not as shaped. No, okay. so they could be shaped as mutton chopped. So you're you're gonna go with that one? That, yeah, over the corn roll because I just feel like that one. Because the I, here's my here's my thought process. If you oh, do please. the mutton chop on the shoulders, you kind of got a little bit more broader shoulders. Oh yeah, if you it's do a the good cor- look. yeah, if you do the corn roll the corn rolls on the back hair, then it almost it'll make you look bigger, and you don't want to go that route. You want to be more uh, wider, back bigger. And, yeah. You know what I mean? So I'm going to go with those. Okay, let's see what uh, what Nicole had. B, cornrows, back cornrows, because, well, of course. <laughs> Maybe Nicole's think, into that. Yeah, so I made her read this, so I think she's, uh, she's still <laughs> surprised in many of these reactions. I also like the back hair cornrows because when you sit, it's almost like a massage thing. Oh, a little extra yeah. cushion. Yeah, on yeah. The back. I yeah. gotcha. All right, next uh, question, Nicole. Wild hares, otters, and even insects use their hair for insulation from the cold, waterproofing, and sensing their environments. If Nick's hair was to have some kind of additional superpower or just be more useful in general, what would you think would be a good option? Okay, so this is an open-ended question. So I would say, in, in, in my case, so I shed a lot, but the hair is not long enough to really do anything with. What I'd like to be able to do is make more rugs for friends and family. Nice. So if I could have some sort of uh, use for my hair or useful superpower when it comes to my hair, it would be that. I was thinking, if you're thinking superpowers, I would think that you know your hair, you would be able to do almost kind of like um, 
Kind of like how the Green Lantern uses his ring to be able to create different things. Oh, yeah. You with your hair would with be hair. able to create other things. You would be able to like, you know, like, oh, some baby's falling. And all of a sudden you grab a like a net. Like, super becomes a net or a big old blanket type thing or or something like that. That would be kind of the superpower. But so you're kind of in the same line because you're thinking. I was also thinking blankets like, oh, you can use it, you know, for to create bedding or, or in, you know, kind of thing like that. Like it's almost very like sustainable. a mattress. Yeah, it is. Very sustainable. Exactly. Kind of musky. Fluffy. Yeah. Well, fluffy. Yeah. I, I'm not sure about fluffy. Well, you know what I mean. Like if you have enough hair, it kind of starts bunching up. You can kind of create a good padding for it. All right. So let's see. I like that. Yeah. I like that. Anything to give it a positive spin. Of course. Let's see what uh, Nicole had. Um, invisibility cloak. Duh. So if I could somehow manage to have the hairs uh, bend light around me, I could oh, turn invisible. Visible. I think I would not have clothes on, though. If you did that, what about if you use the the beard and you can create? Guess what the the black hole or the different portals? Oh, the so same kind of yeah. same kind of concept, but instead of them being invisible, it allows you to go from one alternate to like dimension to another or to different areas. Kind of like almost like uh, not like cloak, cloak and dapper, like a cloak and dagger. Cloak and like dagger. The yeah. Cloak, when he goes in the cloak, yep. he can go to from one place. That's what you can do with your beard. It kind of cloaks you and takes you to a different area. When my beard is longer, it does feel like I can reach in and grab yeah. things from other dimensions. That'd be kind of cool. Or just old food. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Very good. All right. I think we've got, uh, oh, I think we might have one more question. Oh, sweet. Last question. Nick's mom, a licensed esthetician, once lasered all the hair off of his back. It didn't last long because hashtag genetics and all the hair came back. While he was back bald, Nick had completely unwarranted fear of what? A- catching a cold b radiation from the laser would make his hairs come back thicker or c the weight imbalance would make him tip forward so what was my completely irrational fear after i got my back lasered so i would say b but if there was a d i could see you going all of the above all of the <laughs> i seriously could see all of the above so b that the somehow the radiation yes, all would... of a sudden now it's like great it's not only am i going to get my hair back but it's going to be thicker and it's going to be you know even worse okay well let's let's see uh nicole has the right answer again thank you so much nicole i made her read all of these things it was radiation from the laser it's perfectly safe it's not a gamma ray that turns follicles into hulk hairs although that's probably what it would take to stop his follicles he did shave his head for 10 years and did catch a lot of colds because of that. I did. You get very cold when you shave your head. Well, you retain a lot of your body heat from your hair. Yep. Or your head. Yeah. So I thought I'd have plenty of other hair to retain body heat. Not the case. Mm. Not the case at all. Good to know. All right. So I think that is, uh, you did very well. Thank you. By the way, you. it seems like you know me almost um, creepily, <laughs> creepily well. So let's say goodbye to Nicole. Bye, Nicole. All right, that's it for me. Thank you so much for having me. You're welcome. Nicole Dupre, everyone. Uh, that was just as embarrassing as I thought it would be. So thank you again for that. If you'd like to learn more about Opera Del Sol, visit operadelsol.org or find them on Facebook. Their next event is coming up in a couple of weeks. It's really cool. In partnership with a few other groups, they will be uh, presenting music, the Music of the Night Masquerade at the Orlando Rep. And that's August 2nd through the 4th. Should be very romantic. You can bring a mask. You should probably wear a mask. I'm going to wear a hair mask. Nice. Uh, I think it's just, I'll just go as Cousin It. Nice. Nicole is bringing, uh, op, making opera sexy back. She's yeah. Bringing, that's what, that's like her whole, uh, and she definitely can pull, she's going to pull it off. She has, she is pulling it off. Oh, some of the events they've already had and they're yeah. going to do, they've got a couple of special events coming up this week. So definitely follow them on mm -hmm. the social medias and uh, that sort of thing.